Welcome back to what it's really like to be an entrepreneur. I'm Vincent A. Lancey. And I'm Sapna Doshi. I'm excited to launch another episode for you all and bring on another guest with tons of firsthand experience. That's the sound of you investing in your future. Let's go. Whether you're already an entrepreneur, are looking to start your journey tomorrow, or are just someone who needs a little extra motivation to get through the day, this is the perfect podcast for you. Each week, I interview a different entrepreneur from across the globe. I will continue to offer episodes in all industries to provide you with many different perspectives. You never know which motivational journey will inspire you most. Each guest will take you through their story and help you learn from their successes and lessons learned. If you enjoyed today's episode, please rate the show five stars and continue listening by subscribing. It's time for another episode where we rewind the clock. My guest on the show today is a returning guest from episode 25. Her episode aired during the Gasparilla Overload all the way back on season one. Sapna joined the show, adding value from two entrepreneurial endeavors, We Go Kids and Alinea Production. She will get us caught up with both of her businesses and also her new success as well. One area that I am excited for you all to learn about is her amazing collaboration with the veterans here in Florida. So allow me to now introduce Sapna Doshi. Sapna, thank you so much for coming on the show. And so thanks so much for having me. I'm super excited to be here. Sapna, would you mind please reintroducing yourself to our listeners and previewing your story without giving away too much of your entrepreneurial journey? Yep. So uh, my name is Sapna Doshi. I am a founder of We Go Kids, which was started to inspire parents to raise their children and nurture their children with the emotional intelligence um, our children are born with. I am also co-founder of Alinea which is a video production company. Um, And our purpose with Alinea is to reverse trends of anxiety, depression, and suicide in every community across the country and around the world. I am also a mom of seven-year-old triplets, and they were the catalyst uh, to me starting my entrepreneurial journey about five years ago. Yeah, which company did you start first? We Go Kids, correct? Yeah, that was the first one. Yeah, I'm excited to see how it all keeps evolving, and I think it's a great time to get started. On each episode with a new guest, my guest and I go through the Big Five, which is the same series of five questions to help you, the listeners, learn what it's really like to be an entrepreneur. For Rewind the Clock episodes, we will have a Big Five of its own. It's been a while since we last met, and I'm very happy to see your continued success. Let's revisit the business you introduced to us on your first episode. So we go kids. Um, I started back when the triplets were uh, two years old. Um, and it was after I had uh, learned that suicide rates between the, uh, for children ages 10 to 14 had tripled and possibly now quadrupled um, during the last decade. And that number was so alarming to me as a person, but particularly as a new mom, um, I wanted to really understand how that was happening and why that was happening and what I could do at the really early ages to prevent that from being an outcome for my children. And so that was how We Go Kids was born. Uh, We have a clothing line online, um, which is dedicated to mindfulness and yoga. Um, It teaches children from a really early age about their emotions. And then we also started a, um, a, 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 like a TV show. Um, so video podcasts, you could call them as well. Uh, we had two, one is parent talk, uh, where we have a round table of five parents who, um, share their different thoughts and opinions on, uh, different parenting topics and then raising EI, which was raising children with emotional intelligence and in the interview show that, um, takes an emotional intelligence approach to things that happen in our everyday lives, like how do you create a positive financial relationship with money for your children. Yeah, and we could find all of these on your website? (laughs) Yes, wego-kids.com. Yeah, and we'll touch on all of her social media and website again later, but I thought it'd be a good time to ask 
But now let's touch on the new entrepreneurial endeavors that you've started since your episode aired back on season one. Yeah, so since uh, after I had started We Go Kids, uh, a few about three years later, I met um, Adam, who is a Marine Corps veteran, and his company, Betting America, he was talking about really an emotional intelligence approach to transition out of the military. Um, and as we became friends, I learned more about the suicide epidemic that plagues our veteran population, which is that um, the VA now reports 20 a day commit suicide. Uh, the military veteran suicide number is dramatically on the rise. It was anyways. COVID has only exacerbated the situation. And so as a result of that, um, Alinea was born. And I talk about Alinea as a person, as her own energy, because she is definitely on her own path. So Alinea Production was born um, with the purpose to create content that connects in order to specifically reverse the anxiety, depression, and suicide. Um, most of the work that we do is in the veteran and military communities currently. Yeah, and I like there how you're giving back to the veterans because they're the backbone of this country. But I'd like to take this time to really touch on your big project that you released with the veterans. Let's get into more detail with that. Yeah, so it was uh, completely by the power of the universe um, that I connected with B. Taylor, who is a Grammy artist and a Sony artist out of Vegas. Um, he heard about some of the work that I was doing and we connected on a completely separate topic. Um, but when I told him a little bit about the work that we were doing, he had written a song called We Are One, Love Is All We Need. Um, and this is all in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. And he said, I want to do a music video and I want you to produce it. And um, after I got over my initial shock, uh, two days later, his request came and he said, can you do a storyboard? I need to send it to the Joint Chiefs of Staff at the Pentagon for approval. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so and cool. literally my life for the next four weeks was a series of saying yes and then figuring out how to do it later. But during that time, um, Pensacola Base, which was closed, uh, which had been closed since February, opened their doors for us because of our COVID-19 precautions um, in order to allow us to film on, uh, on base. Uh, we covered um, more than 30 sets in the, in the uh, span of about 10 days. We had more than 50 um, uh, on-camera, uh, stars and extras who all volunteered their time. It was the first time where we were able to capture every single branch of the military, Army, Navy, Marine, Coast Guard, and Air Force, as well as highlighting veterans, specifically in the Tampa community, all in this one video. We also highlighted every first responder community, with firemen, police officer, uh, firefighter, police officer, doctor, and nurse uh, in this one music video. And it really was the message and his vision to bring the country together under, under this one song and the reminder that we are one, love is all we need. And so it was amazing, an amazing experience, a whirlwind of a time. And uh, the video is out, so I would be grateful for everybody to view it and share it. Yeah, so make sure you stick around to the end of the episode so you can get the information on where to watch that video. But I think it's a great time for this next question, and I think it will help the listeners immensely as we are all in this together. Let's talk about how COVID-19 has affected all of your entrepreneurial endeavors. And let's start with the endeavor that you first introduced to us back on season one. Sure. I mean, COVID-19, definitely in the beginning, uh, you know, I was, uh, I found myself in a fear pit uh, because of all of the information that was out there um, that I really didn't have um, or I didn't use the tools that I had to process it. So I definitely found myself in kind of a spiral for about two weeks, was able to realize that that was what was happening and to kind of uh, shift my perspective, use my tools um, for the anxiety and the depression that came along with those, those uh, experiences. 
and then really to find kind of more of a balanced place, uh, not only for myself, but yep. for my children as well, because mm -hmm. um, that was a huge mm -hmm. impact on them. Uh, the way I was reacting was a huge impact on them, and I saw that happening. So, um, and then, you know, work-wise, it definitely got super quiet, and um, what I did was, and I'll talk about this a little bit later, I um, came across on my Facebook feed this a country music song that was written by an army veteran. And I loved it so much. I closed my eyes and I had a vision for the video. I reached out to him and I said, you know, we'd really, I'd like to volunteer our services in order to produce this music video if, if you feel that this is a good fit. And we did that. Um, we went to Savannah filmed um, outdoors in just the most amazing places again in the middle, you know, in the middle of all of this going on. And that really was um, the reminder that I needed for myself that, um, that I, that I do have control, that there are things that I can do that I make choices every day. And so that really was kind of the catalyst and the energy that I needed to be able to move forward. And as a result of that music video that we did, this music video came up with uh, with Dee Taylor. Yeah, I think that's great advice right there. Just remind yourself you can control what you can and what you can't move forward. But speaking of advice, the listeners would also like to learn, what is the best piece of advice that you were ever given and who is it from? Well, I've been given a lot of good pieces of advice uh, during the course of my life. So I'll, I'll, I picked the most recent one. Um, right. when we, when I was doing this video, um, with the, and I will say, you know, it was the first time, like I had agreements with every branch of the military. I was managing, you know, production for a pretty big project. Um, and it was a lot of firsts for me. And what I found yeah. was some imposter syndrome coming up. And, um, so my partner, Adam, who is the Marine Corps veteran, he said to me, you know, you're really focused on the outcome, on what this video is going to look like. And if you shift back to kind of the purpose of Alinea and focus on, be present and focus on every set and the people that are there on that set and create a space for healing and for positivity and for connection that they're not getting during this time, don't worry about the outcome. The outcome is going to take care of itself. <laughs> and that paradigm shift for me was so powerful because every set then, when we went on to set, it was transformative. You would see all of these veterans or military who had been suffering from anxiety and depression, who had been disconnected, who um, were struggling with home life and work life and figuring all of this stuff out. And when they came on, we kind of, that all disappeared for a while, whether it was two hours or three hours, and we all got together for this one purpose. Uh, we had a lot of fun. It was a lot of healing. It was a lot of connection. And that really was the reminder that was the best piece of advice I could have gotten. And now that's how I approach every production is not worrying about the outcome, but worrying about each moment as I go. Yeah, I can resonate there a little bit. In the beginning of my graduate school journey, I was really just solely focused on getting the degree. I wasn't worried about the in-between and I wasn't really taking time to enjoy the many accomplishments and enjoying the process, the struggling, enjoying the learning lessons. Like you said, a lot of firsts for you. So I do, I, I do resonate with that. But if you could recommend one book to our community of entrepreneurs, Sapna, which book would it be? Who is the author? And briefly describe that book. Yeah, so if you know me, you've heard this before, but I recommend uh, The Surrender Experiment by Michael Singer. Um, Michael Singer, uh, <clears throat> Michael Singer's story is just incredible. Uh, he actually lives locally outside of Gainesville, Florida. He has been on Oprah and um, has many best-selling books, but The Surrender Experiment is about his entrepreneurial journey where he started kind of in the woods of Alachua County. Um, he started first as a uh, as constructing people's homes and ended up as CEO of WebMD. Wow. Yep, it's really an incredible story and um, really opened my eyes to the power of surrendering to what the universe 
offers us. I think as entrepreneurs and business owners, we do get stuck with our blinders and stuck in, it's supposed to look and feel this way. And when we can step out of that and just be open to what the universe brings to us, I think um, that type of surrender is really powerful. And that's definitely the truth. We are so busy all the time. So it seems like a good way to step back and make some necessary changes to improve our day. And Subna, normally it would be time for the spotlight story, but instead on Rewind the Clock episodes, I want to give my guests the opportunity to shout out and bring light to another entrepreneur's endeavors. Someone else who is making some noise, who would you like to show some love to? I'd love to uh, show some love to uh, Adrian O'Farrell. He is owner of Epic Life Productions, also a local uh, video production company. Um, Adrian has been our lead uh, videographer and editor on the project since we started. And nice. his creativity and his vision and his ability to see something and make it come to life, without him, uh, I would not be able to do what I do. Awesome. Sapna, would you please take the time to share your professional social media website or ways for our listeners to follow your endeavors and request your services? Yeah, so uh, I'll start with uh, We Go Kids. So if you check out shop.wego-kids.com, that's where you can learn all about We Go Kids and parenting. And then at Alinea Production on Facebook and Instagram, aliniaproduction.com to uh, view all of our work. We're also a full-service digital marketing agency, so we do social media management, um, websites, and, uh, and a ton of other stuff. So uh, at Alinea Production, and then I personally am at Sapna Doshi on all the socials. Be sure to check out all of that great content, and it is social media time for the show, and we're on whichever platform you like to use. We're at what it's really like to be an entrepreneur on LinkedIn, at your favorite morning podcast on Instagram and Facebook, and at Podcasts by Lancey on Twitter, so you have updates from this show and a mental health break with Vincent A. Lancey. If you check out my books, DM me. I would love to hear from you all. We have Mr. Lancey Talks Mental Health, Left for Dead, A Story of Redemption, and How to Transform Your Mindset When the Norm Has Changed, all are on my website now, which is vincentalancey.com. As always, I will end the show with a quote that inspired me and know it will for you too. This one is from Beverly Sills. She said, you may be disappointed if you fail, but you are doomed if you don't try. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you all on the next episode of What It's Really Like to Be an Entrepreneur.